Uh, you are welcome to this beautiful day, the day that the Lord has made. He said, you and I should rejoice and be glad in it. That is the word of the Lord to you and me. His joy and gladness will remain our portion forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, let us pray. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Ancient of days, we magnify your name. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Before you, there is no God, and after you, there is no other. You are the God who is mighty and strong to deliver. You are the God who sits in heaven and made the whole earth your footstool. And we appreciate you, Lord, for loving us. Who are we that thou, God, should be mindful of us? Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy that has been saying no to every work of the enemy around us. Thank you for bringing us into this new month, the month of March 2024, our month of marching forward. We are indeed grateful. We declare that throughout this month, your mercy will speak on our behalf. And everything about us that we cannot handle by ourselves, thou God will handle it for us. Because you are the God of all flesh. And with you, there is nothing that is impossible. So speak to us your word that will make us wiser unto salvation. Your word that will increase our faith. Your word that will illuminate our hearts. Your word that will give us an understanding of who you are and what you can do. Speak to us, O oh God. Edify yourself in our lives and glorify yourself in all that belongs to us. Be exalted, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. You are blessed, my beloved, in Jesus' name. How are you doing? I believe that you are okay. For that is the mind of God concerning you. He said in his word, I wish you above all things, that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul, as all our souls prosper, you will prosper in Jesus' name. So this is the month of March, our month of marching forward. It is the mind of God for you and I to move forward in life. Despite all the challenges, despite all the tricks of the devil, he has commanded you to move forward. When the children of Israel were moving from Egypt to the promised land, they came in contact with a mighty river called the Red Sea. And there was no way they could move ahead. But God said, told Moses, tell my people to move forward. Today I command you in the name of Jesus, move forward in life in Jesus' name. You will not be static in Jesus' name. You will not be stagnant in Jesus' name. Physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, matrimonially, move forward in the name of Jesus. So our text for today is Jeremiah 32, verse 27. Jeremiah 32, verse 27. Because the word of God is powerful and is sharper than any two-edged sword. Jeremiah 32 verse 27 says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? It's a question. God is is Otoknadu. Whatever he says comes to pass. Some time ago I was meditating and I began to imagine the greatness of this God. Everything he said in the beginning stands. Let there be light. There has been light. Let the water separate from the land. It has been so. We have never seen some technician walking to ensure that the moon and the sun rises and sets. The spoken word of God holds them in place. 
When we are in our parents' womb, as water and blood, then we matured and became a full developed human beings. How our brains was formed within know all the network of nerves, tissues, and organs in our body by themselves they came up to be and we are born as a complete human being. How we grew up, we didn't know. He took care of us from our birth till now. He's such a good God. He's such a mighty God. He's a dependable Father. He's the God who spake and it was done. Everything he has declared concerning you, concerning you I prophesy it must surely come to pass. All you need to do is to believe. So my topic says, we serve the God of all flesh. Who is our God? The God of all flesh. There is a finality in that statement. I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard? For me to do. Hallelujah. He is able to defend you. He is able to heal you. He is able to direct your footsteps. He is able to keep you from danger and destruction. He is able to supply all your needs. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. The God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for him to do. My beloved, I don't know what you are passing through right now. It may look as if nothing is working. But I want to let you know that the God of all flesh is still there to help. Amen. He can do all things. If you read the book of Matthew 19, Verse 26. The word of God says, For with God, all things are possible. In the month of March, every impossibility in your life becomes possible in Jesus' name. I am a living witness that for with God, all things are possible. He indeed is the God of all flesh. And there is nothing too hard for him to do. He can heal. His name is Jehovah Rufeka. The Lord that healeth. A while ago, I was discussing with a friend online. And she told me there was a time she was so sick. She was so sick to the point that she was afraid to go to the hospital. She's not in, the Niger she's not in Nigeria. She's far away in America. She said the stomach pain was so much that she became so afraid to go to the hospital. She was afraid not because she didn't have money to go, but she was afraid of what the doctors will see. What of if they see this thing? What of if they see this thing? What will I do? That's according to her faith. Too. She now decided to pray and remind God of his promises. You promise me to call and you will answer. She said, as she knelt down to pray and said, Father, I don't know what is in this, my stomach. I have terrible pains here. Say, Lord, I know you are the God with whom all things are possible. I have read it in the scriptures. I have heard testimonies. I have seen it in the life of men that you can do all things. He said, Father, come. And heal me of this stomach ache. Not up to an hour we, we spoke. She said while she was still on her knees, she started hearing sound. The bowels were moving. Adjustments were taking place. And that was the end of that stomach pain. I pray for you this afternoon. Or right now. This hour. I pray for you this hour. That whatever is making you to be afraid, as you hand it over to God in prayer this month, Jehovah will settle it forever in Jesus' name. In Exodus 
15, verse 26. Let's see what God says there. Take it to the Lord in prayers. There's one song I love so much. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayers. Oh, what peace we often fall our feet. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Why? Oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayers. Ah, we weak and heavy laden, combat with a load of care. Precious Savior, still a refuge. Take it to the Lord in prayers. Do thy friends despise forsake thee? Take it to the Lord in prayers. In his hands is shed, take and shield thee. Thou we find our soul is there. I introduce to you again the God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for God to do. That's the message of hope. That's the message of salvation. Because we are in a world where men hearts, the, the, the times we are in now. Is a time that the Bible says, "Men hearts shall begin to fail them because of fear. That's the season we are in. People are afraid. We don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know what's going to happen next. And the Bible says, for they that know they are good. Even if the whole world is going to collapse, they shall be strong and they will do as best. Receive grace to be strong in this trying period in Jesus' name. Let us see what the Bible tells us. We are talking about the God that can heal. Jehovah Rapha. The God of all flesh. Let's look at what the Bible tells us in Exodus 15.26. It says, And said, If thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and we do that, which is right in his sight, and we give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that he let thee. Praise God. Our God is a healer. When we talk of healing, it's not only sicknesses in our body. Somebody's life can be sick. If things are not moving well, that's sickness. You need the healer. He can heal our body. Diseases are not from God. God is a healthy God. And he created you and I in his image and likeness. It was when men slept that the enemy came and planted tarps among the wheat. This month, every seed that Jehovah has not planted in your life and destiny, the God of all flesh will visit you and uproot it by fire in Jesus' name. Say loud, Amen. You are struggling, walking like an elephant and eating like an ant. You need healing. You struggle before you get anything. You need healing. God needs to heal your efforts. If God rises on your behalf, with little effort to get so much. So, I want to let you know this morning that you have a God of all flesh. His name is Jehovah. There is nothing he cannot do. Hallelujah. We are talking about Jehovah Rufeka, the one who can heal your body. Your body. 
can heal it, make you strong, make you healthy. Because that was one of the reasons why Jesus came. To destroy every works of the devil. John 10, 10 tells us, devil has three assignments. To kill, to steal, and destroy. When he enters into a man's life, he will steal all his, the good things in his life, including his health. Steal his finances, steal his joy, steal his peace, and plant wala. Amen. But when Jesus comes, he gives you life. Not just life, but abundant life. So God can heal your body. Jehovah God Almighty, the God of all flesh, call on him this month to heal your body. Present that body to him. Tell him to heal it. Amen. In 1 Peter 2, verse 24, let's see what the Bible says there. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. We are talking about the God of all flesh. Who promised, who vowed, is there anything for me, too hard for me to do? I want to look at the book of 1 Peter chapter 2. I'm reading verse 24. Who is own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree that we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes we are healed. Took those stripes. They flogged him. Every stripe is a healing stripe from one disease and infirmity. So present your body to the God of all flesh this month. He will heal you. I appreciate the doctors for what they are doing. They are trying. Yes, they are wonderful. But they will tell you, we treat, but God heals. I pray that Jehovah Rufeka will heal your body in Jesus' name. Amen. We are looking at the God of all flesh with whom all things are possible. He can heal your broken hearted. A lot of people, their hearts have been broken by men. Friends, relations, those who they put their trust, those who they trusted have failed them, and now they go with a wounded heart. Wounded heart. Psalm 147 verse 3. Let's see what Bible talks about the God of all flesh. What he can do to a broken heart. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm looking at Psalm 147 verse 3. Psalm 147 verse 3. The first one I looked at is that the God of all flesh can heal your body of any form of disease and infirmity. Tell him to heal your body. Father, this my leg is paining me. Heal it. Father, this my hand is aching me. Heal it. Mention it to the God of all flesh this month and he will heal you in Jesus' name. Psalm 147 verse 3. Let's see what the Bible says. He healed the broken hearted and binded up the wounds. He healed the broken hearted and binded up the wounds. Amen. Hallelujah. We are looking at the God of all flesh. He can heal your broken heart. Men have broken your heart. Jehovah can heal it. Your heart has been broken by some Terrible things that happen to you, Jehovah can heal it. I can testify about that. There was a time in my life I loved my very precious brother who I confide in so much, who teaches me all things. If I forget anything, I'll just call him, he just tell me straight everything. And I lost him. When I lost him, eh, <laughs> it was so terrible. I could not recover from the loss. It, the pain was in my heart. It was eating me deep. Then one day, he can hear your broken heart. And I went on my knees. I called on the God of all flesh. I said, my heart is sick. My heart is broken. I cannot gather it, oh God. Gather! 
Order it for me. And as I was praying, I felt the hand. Cracker. Like that. It just, like, it fixed it. Cry. Like that. And that was the end. The pain was no more there. But the loss is real. He healed my broken heart. That same Jehovah, who vowed in the book of Jeremiah 32, 27, that he is the God of all flesh, that there is nothing too hard for him to do. Your own will not be hard for him to do in Jesus' name. Say amen. He is our healer. He heals our body. He heals our life. He heals our hearts. He heals our marriages. And we are looking at the third thing this evening. He will heal our land. He can heal our land. Amen. Your land can represent your nation. Can represent your community. It can represent your life. Yes. If you are dwelling on a land that is not fertile. Your life is not producing its, fruit, its fruits in 10s, in 20s, in 30s, in due season. Then your land is sick. You are in one situation, 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, you are there. Static. Call on the God of heaven. Say, heal my land. Heal my life. Heal me, Lord. A lot of people today are complaining. But I come with good news. For today, complain no more. Weep no more. The God of all flesh is in the house to heal your land. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus that the God of all flesh will rise up and heal your land in Jesus' name. I pray for you. Every sickness in your land is healed in the name of Jesus. Every infertility in your land is healed in the name of Jesus. Whether infertility in your body, in your business, in your career. May the Lord God of all flesh rise up and heal your land this month of March in the name of Jesus. He has vowed and he will do it. He's alive. He's not dead, no. Our God is alive. There's a song we sing. My God is alive. My God is alive. My God is alive. I boast of my God. I want you to know, as I also know, that my Father is alive. My God is alive. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he is the God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for him to do. I declare your own will not be hard for God to do in Jesus' name. Rise up, my beloved. Put on the whole armor of God. And stand as a winner. And tell God, I believe you, Lord. You can heal my life. You can give my life a meaning. You can turn my situation around for good. Begin to say it. According to our pastor, Chris Oyakilo, he said, keep saying it. Don't stop talking it. When you wake up, say it. When you are lying down, say it. When Mary did call you, say it. My God is alive. With whom all things are possible. Let's see what the Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. Hallelujah. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face. Listen, oh. He didn't say complain to your friend. He didn't say complain to people. No matter the category of people. No matter how highly anointed they are. If you are going to take cancer, you take cancer from those that God has approved. 
Not everybody will give you the right counsel. He said, if they will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will heal their land. God will hear you and heal your land in Jesus. All you need to do is to humble yourself this month and pray. Pray to God. Seek God's face. Leave that food for a while. Talk to your father. The God of all flesh. Seek his face in prayers. Talk to him in prayers. Ask him to help you. Tell him I cannot help myself. The word of God says, I read in the scriptures, Jeremiah 32, 27, that you are the God of all flesh. There is nothing too hard for you to do. My own will not be hard for you to do. Father, come and heal my land. My land is sick. Immediately, Elijah was taken to heaven. Elisha now took a double portion of the anointing. And what happened? And as he was coming back from the Jordan, he came to a city. And they told the man of God, you can see that this city is very beautiful. But our water is no good. Every bad water in your life today will turn to sweet water and good water in Jesus' name. What did he do? He took, he said, give me salt in a cruise. And he went to the source of water and poured it and the water was healed. That's the anointing. Today, my not necessarily many pouring salt. The salt we use today is the word of God, the power in the name of Jesus. Who came to destroy every works of the devil? So take up the armor of God, the whole, not half, and take the sheet of faith in your hand and begin to make declarations. My land must be healed. My home must be healed. My life must be healed in the name of Jesus. I, I, I refuse to settle for anything less. I am created for signs and wonders. And I am made in the image and likeness of Jehovah. From today, I declare everything concerning me must begin to fall in place. Keep saying it. Don't stop talking it. One day, your day will break. And all eyes will see. And all ears will hear. And they will join you to dance. When I think of the that things that you've done, my imagination has come to reality. Oh my God, oh, you do this one. Oh, oh, oh you do this one. Oh. Testimonies overflowing. Celebrations all around me. Jesus, you do this one. Oh, oh, oh you do this one. Oh. That'll be your song in Jesus' name. Say amen. He will do it. It will come to pass in Jesus' name. So to be healed, for the God of all flesh to have access to heal you, one, acknowledge that you have a sore on your leg. Don't cover it to open it for Jesus to see. Acknowledge you are sick. Acknowledge your leg is paining you. Acknowledge that your life is not in order. Acknowledge that you need help. Tell Jehovah, I need help. He will send you help out of Zion. And ask him to heal you. Father, heal me. For further study, read the book of Mark 10, 46 to 52. Blind Bartimaeus. He sat by the roadside, begging. And one day, here Jesus coming, he was shouting, Jesus, that's on the day we have mercy on me. He shouted to the extent that said, shut up your mouth, not be you, Jesus, they fine. And what did Jesus do? Jesus heard him and healed him. The two blind men. In Matthew 20, 29 to 34. Also read it there. They believe that Jesus could heal them. Hallelujah. What are the leprous men who came to Jesus and said, Lord, if you will, you can make us whole. And Jesus said, I will be thou clean. And they were clean. Today, Jesus is still healing leprosy. You might be saying, why is Jesus healing leprosy? Why are we still seeing lepers? If I say leprosy, I mean all manners of deformity. Amen. Praise God. 
So God is ready to heal you. He's ready to help you. He's ready to heal your land, heal your body, heal your home, heal your situation, heal your circumstance. If you believe and you acknowledge that this matter is not supposed to be so. This side is supposed to be. And Lord, help me. Like Bartimaeus, see, shouted. That's what the Bible says. People will tell you, keep quiet. Amen. See what is happening in the life of one of our sisters now in Mene. Sabero, are they doing? I thought she was a right off. But when God rose against the captivity of Zion, we were all like those that dream. May that be your testimony all the days of your life. She kept trusting. She kept trusting God. You know, when I came close to that woman, I began to see some beautiful parts of her. I began to admire those beautiful parts of her. Sometimes when we are going for an event, I'll say, Star Lare, I'm well put you in my car. She'll say, Okay, where's well, sister? She will just come. She will just be happy. You see it here. She's happy. Even if she does not have a car, she she will just go. She will stay in front. Just be happy. She will, she's never envious. She's never jealous of anybody. She has never going and saying that because of not, no, no, not be that woman with me, no. Mm. She just said that everything was okay with her. And with her prophetic songs, she was singing. Jehovah was listening. And when God rose up, the whole world is shaking for somebody's sake. May God rise up on your behalf and shake the foundations of the earth for you. That's a testimony. That's the order of the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God can do all things, including your own case. Including your own. Have a good heart. Love God. Don't jealous people. Don't be envious. These people that are progressing now because not get. That kind of not good. And you're not the only that did it. Now only they did it. You will remain there. Because you do not know God. I pray for you today that there's a scale in your eyes will fall. And Jehovah God by himself will rise up and help you in Jesus' name. But he must shout it. Have mercy on us. The two blind men came to Jesus. Jesus healed them, gave them sight. Jesus will give you sight. He will heal you. In conclusion, we are going to read the book of Jeremiah again to bring this short message to an end. We are going to look at the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 17. I'm going to read verse 14. Praise the Lord. I'm reading verse 14. He said, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my priest. Tell God, heal me. Heal my land. Heal my home. Heal my marriage. If you have a bad heart, present it for Jesus to heal. Some people, they are hurting. It's not good. There's envy. There's jealousy. There's pride. There's wajo. There's stealing. There's every bad, bad thing. And you come and say, anybody that wants to disturb you, Holy Ghost fire. No way. The fire no go cash. Present your bad heart. Acknowledge that your heart is bad. Mm. And bring it to Jesus. And say, Jesus, heal me. Oh. These thoughts in my heart, they are not good. The way I do things is not good. You, you will not do anything and don't want to get gain. You did talk like talk. Your heart is bad. You won't say the truth. You are lying. You are building your, your house on falsehood. One day the other will collapse. And they say, eh? What happened to this sister? What happened to that brother? Because you believe in falsehood. Some of us are put to be very close to authority. I'm talking of those who are already in church, wherever you are, maybe in government or wherever. You are close to authority. You get there and you blackmail your sister. You blackmail your brother to the leader. Before you know, they start pushing that one away. They say it's not good. You that is a liar. You want to sit down and say you are the one doing it right. Wait. Just wait. As God blesses those who are righteous, that is how he punishes those who are wicked. If your heart is bad, eh? present it to Jesus for healing. No? Because you cannot, you cannot hide it from God. God knows all of us. So, the word of God has told us. We need to believe it. Hear me, O Lord, this morning. Call on God to heal you. Hallelujah. Heal your bad heart. Heal your sick body. 
Heal your sick marriage. Heal your sick finance. Heal your sick land. Hmm? Your land. Your land means your dwelling place where God has planted you. You are not fruitful. You are on a sick land. So in this month of March, God will rise up and heal your land in Jesus' name. So you are going to call on the God of heaven. Say, oh Lord, heal my body. Go on, you need to Jehovah to heal your body. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that the great and mighty God with whom all things are possible, the God of all flesh, rises up today and heal your body in Jesus' name. Take that prayer of this month. Present that hand to Jesus. Present that heart to Jesus. Present that leg to Jesus. Present that back to Jesus. Present that bone to Jesus. Present it. His power is available to heal. He will heal you because you believe he can. And you have faith. And your heart is after God. There is nothing that will stop God from healing you. Secondly, say, Lord, heal my home. Open your mouth and begin to pray for your home. Pray for your husband. Pray for your children. Look at them. Anything that is not good, tell Jehovah to heal it. He should send his healing power into your home right now. Into your finances. Tell God to heal your children. You have a child that is wayward. Goes to school and is bringing wahala. He's going to do what he's not supposed to do. Call for healing. Wake up in the night and cry to the God of heaven. May God rise up and heal your body. May God rise up and heal your home. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Present your children before the Most High God. Mention their name one by one. Command Jehovah to heal them. Heal them of every bad character. Heal them of everything that is not good. Let his spirit come upon them. And let them be the children of the Most High. I want a testimony concerning our children. Oh yeah, pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus. Ask God to heal all your children. From the head to the least. Pray for them. The right spirit. Cast out the wrong spirit from them. And put the right spirit within them. Pray in the name of Jesus. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. As God mouth peace. That every of your child that is sick is healed. Those who have bad character, they are healed. Those who are on the wrong track, Jehovah retreat them back to himself in the name of Jesus. Pull them back, pull them back, pull them back. By the word of your mouth, you are snared. And by your confession, victory is gotten. Receive your victory by calling your children back from the path of destruction, from the wrong path. Bring them back to the path of life. May God heal all your children in Jesus' name. Say, Lord, heal me physically. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, heal me physically. I present my body before you, O oh God. My body is your temple. I donate this body to you, Holy Spirit. Come and possess it. Possess my body. Oh, yeah. Open your mouth and pray. Ask Jehovah himself. Ask the Holy Spirit to come into your body and heal you. Heal every part of you that is not, it's not good. Anything giving you problem is not of God. Command the hand of God to heal you right now in Jesus' name. Ask God to heal your spirit. Ask for the right spirit. Ask for a clean heart. Ask God for the mind of God. Call the mind of God. Say, I want the mind of God to dwell in me. Cast out the mind of the devil. The mind of the devil will make you to be an enemy of God. Father in heaven, we call upon your mind. Let it come upon your children. Give them the right mind. Give them the right spirit. Create in them a clean heart. Oh Lord, I renew the right spirit within them. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ask for the right spirit. The right spirit will not bring destruction. The right spirit will not bring untimely death. The right spirit will not lead you to the wrong way. Begin to ask for the right spirit. I call for the right spirit of God to enter into you, child of God. That from today you receive the right spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray for you. Amen. Finally, we are going to say, Oh Lord, heal my land. Heal my land, my immediate land, and my general land. Pray for our nation right now. Call for God's healing upon this land. Pray for our nation right now. Call for God's healing upon our land. Presently, our land is sick. So we need divine intervention. We need God's power of healing to flow in our land. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, our land is healed. Father, I thank for the life of your children. As many who have listened to this telecast, every part of their life that is sick, I call on you, the God of all flesh. Heal them right now. Be healed. The Lord heal your hearts. The Lord create in you the right spirit. And may the Lord heal your children. Financially, you are healed. Spiritually, you are healed. Emotionally, you are healed. I command the right spirit to rest upon you. In this month of March, you are healed. The God of all flesh take his place in your life. And everything about you must work according to the will of God. Your lives this month will fall in pleasant places. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God bless you. Give your life to Jesus. You have nothing to lose. The weapon you need at this time is the weapon of prayer. The weapon of prayer. Please, my beloved, don't lose your vision of Jesus. Be focused. 
because he's coming very soon. As you give your life to Jesus, go to any Bible-believing church, serve the Lord, and do his will, and he will never let you down. May God bless you as you remain focused and rapturable. In Jesus' name, we we'll see you again next time. Amen. If Jesus tarries. God bless you. Love you all. Bye-bye.